So here we have an addition pyramid. And the way addition pyramids work is that the value of a brick is the total of the two bricks below it. So to find this brick here, we need to add 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. So this brick is 0 0.7. Now what can we do to find this brick here? So 0 0.4 plus something is 0 0.9. So we can subtract 0 0.4 from 0 0.9. That gives us 0 0.5. And what do we need to do for this brick? We need to add 0 0.7 and 0 0.9. So that's 1.6. Now this is a bit more difficult. Pause the video and see if you can solve the pyramid. So here we have something plus 0 0.73 equals 1.1. So let's subtract 0 0.73 from 1.1. We can write a 0 in our empty place value column. We need to remember the decimal point in our answer. Then we can subtract as normal to get the value of our missing brick so that's 0 0.37. Now for this brick here, we need 2.09 minus 0 0.73. So that's 1.36. And how can we find our top brick? We need to add the two bricks below. So there's our zero in the empty place value column, the decimal point in our answer, and so that gives us 3.19. So now, even more difficult, pause the video and see if you can solve this one. We can find this brick here by adding the two bricks below. So that's 3.700. But we don't usually write decimals with zeros at the end because the number 3.7 already tells us that we have exactly 3 units, 7 tenths and no extra hundredths or thousandths. So let's just write 3.7. And now for this brick here, we need 2.56 minus 1.358. So we need a zero in our empty place value column. There's our decimal point, And then we subtract as normal to get 1.202. And we do need 0 0.202. It's only zeros at the end of a decimal number that we can ignore. So now, adding 3.7 and 2.56 will get us our top brick. So there's our zero and our decimal point. So our top brick has a value of 6.26.